Decred. Decred is a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, but with two really major advancements. And I want to talk about that here. So first of all, did you know that you can actually earn more Decred by holding Decred? And second of all, Decred solves the drama issues of upgrades via a system of voting. And all these are related in a system called proof of stake. So I'm going to talk about that in a little bit more detail here about how it works and what it, like, what it is and how it works. So first of all, to understand what happens, you have to understand the mining process. So Decred is based on transactions, so people can send Decred to each other. And to process these transactions, it goes through a process called mining. So miners put these transactions into a ledger called the blockchain. And in Bitcoin, that's the end of the story. The ledger is recorded, it's built on top of each other, and the transactions are validated. But with Decred, we have additional layer, additional layer of protection on top of that, which is called voting. So it's a, a proof of stake system, which voters that hold Decred get to vote if the block that's given by the miners is valid or not. So why would you want this? Well, for the exact reason of why Bitcoin right now is going through a drama, where because miners get to decide how to pack the blockchain, they get to decide how the system upgrades, how the future of Bitcoin is decided. So right now, if miners support SegWit, they can signal support for SegWit, and that's the end of the story. They, they, they hold the power to vote. But with Decred, there's another check in place. So miners can choose to do X action or not. But when the vote happens, their work can be voted down. Their work can be rejected if they don't follow a set. They don't follow what the community wants, essentially. So this offers community, the holders of Decred, and gives them a say into how the blockchain is managed and in, in essence, how the future of Decred is determined. So you have both miners and holders of Decred deciding on the future of the currency. So how does the voting system actually work? Well, Decred holders have to buy tickets. It's kind of like a jury if you think about it. So they put a certain amount of Decred to buy a ticket to say, oh, I want to be eligible for voting. And the system kind of selects five candidates from the ticket holders. So they select voters to vote every time a block is created. The voters, if three of the votes are yes, then the block is passed, then it's taken and put into, it's validated, and now it's part of the blockchain. If three of them vote no, then it's rejected. So the idea behind this is not everyone votes, it's actually just five people who vote. And this kind of simplifies the voting process, it doesn't make it as long. What people are hoping is that the, because the votes are taken at random, the same five, pe the, the same five votes won't be from the same person. So it's pretty much very similar to how a jury works in real life. You select three, five random people and they should represent the views of the community, the views of the holders of Decred. Of course, you should get rewarded for voting and that's how you get rewarded for holding Decred. So the reward is split between the miners, so the guys who actually do the work, do the accounting for the system. This actually requires a lot of energy and power. So this is like these high park machines doing calculations. That's what proof of work is. Whilst proof of stake is you actually still have to have a computer, but it just sits there and idles until it's called to vote. So you can just use anything, any computer, even like a Raspberry Pi or any, any computer. All you have to do is you have to prove that you have a share of Decred. So you have to prove that you own Decred via the ticket buying system. And once you put your ticket on the machine, it just votes whenever the vote, when it's called to vote. Of course, there's a little bit more complications to the system. It's a little bit more complicated than that because there's a lot of, lot of tickets and you have to kind of manage when to buy and sell the ticket. And I think I can cover that in another 
uh, session, but the essence is that by holding Decred, you get to vote on the blocks and the, and the future of Decred. So that's how you can get basically a, that's how Decred resolves the community debate. So basically it gives the holders a right to vote, a vote to decide. So it kind of solves the problem of right now. Right now with Bitcoin, there's this kind of suspicion that the miners are not acting in the best interest of community. One miner company in particular, um, <coughs> uh, um, Bitmain, they, they have been accused of kind of blocking updates to the Bitcoin chain because updates would destroy a competitive advantage that they have. So if that was the case, then the community can choose to say, okay, we were gonna reject all the blocks mined that are not using the new upgrade. So if you're not using the new upgrade, boom, sorry, your stuff is not valid, go do it again. And that will force the miners to kind of just accept the upgrade, even though it might not be in the best interest of the mine, of course, and, but it's in the best interest of the community. So this is on, on paper a, a, an amazing way to kind of resolve community debates. It's a way to give the, a voice to the people. And also, of course, it's a way to give money to the people too. If you hold Decred and you get to vote, then you're doing something for the network. And of course, the network rewards you for that. So you kind of get like a mini interest. So every time you buy a ticket, you get a reward and your tickets get chosen to vote. You get a reward for doing so. And that becomes kind of like a mini interest. You know, you get rewarded for just holding Decred. So that's kind of pretty cool for the system. So that kind of explains what proof of stake is. It's a bit longer than I intended, but I hope you guys understand what um, proof of stake in Decred is. If you guys have any additional questions about the system, please ask below. I'll be um, hoping to answer them in an upcoming video. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video.